Uh, do I think Michael is a tough guy? No. Do I think he's a martial artist? No. Do I think Jean-Claude's a tough guy or a martial artist? No. Hey guys, this channel's been sort of in a Steven Skull mood lately. Been catching up on some of his old films, uh, still entertaining as hell. Watch my video breakdowns of them in the description below, by the way, if you're curious. Uh, I really break down some trivia, my thoughts on the films. But I thought it'd be fun to do a video on his reactions as far as uh, during interviews, what he thinks about other martial artists like Jean-Claude Van Damme, Michael J. White, Chuck Norris, etc. So hopefully you'll find this as entertaining as I did. Oh, and make sure to stay tuned near the end of the video. I'm going to tell you why I believe Steven thinks the way he does. You'll have to watch the interview clips first to see what he thinks about these other martial artists. And then I'm going to tell you why I think he believes what he says. So to start off, here's a great interview with Arsenio Hall when he was promoting Out for Justice. Arsenio asked him about Jean-Claude Van Damme, and the reaction is priceless. Since you've been here last for Hard to Kill, we've had a lot of action-adventure stars popping out of the woodwork. Uh, do you go watch the other guys? What do you think of Jeff Speakman or uh, Van Damme? You know, do you know Van Damme? No. Uh, <laughs> you, you've heard of him? <laughs> Let's start with him, Stephen. Uh, what, what do you think of, of his work? As a martial artist first. <laughs> change the subject. Well, I mean, because, like, you guys go back to the martial arts world before you were movie stars, right? I mean, he was like a, a champion somewhere, and, right, I mean, you... Well... I mean, I, I just promised all my mentors that I was going to be a good boy. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that's a matter of opinion, that he was a champion anywhere. You know? <laughs> yeah. and, and I mean, you know, I'm not being catty or anything. I wish the guy all the best. But there are an awful lot of people who say that that's not true. How about Jeff Speakman? Nice guy, huh? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I was very good friends with his teacher, uh, you know, Ed Park was a, a good friend of mine. And um, he seems like a, a, real good, a real good guy, this kid. I, I've never met him, but he seems like a good kid. Uh, it's interesting. Van Damme actually has respect for Steven, actually likes Steven Skull, and actually uh, complimented him, said he should be in Expendables 3 when Van Damme was doing press for Expendables 2. Here's what he had to say. Are there any, are there any guys, for example, Steven Seagal? maybe Kurt Russell, who you'd love to see in part three. I would love to see a, a, a Steven Seagal in part three. Mm. Uh, uh, he should lose some weight. <laughs> so No, no, joke on the side. Yeah. So he can be a little more uh, uh, yeah, fast. He's, he's put on the pound. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I met the guy a few times. He's a nice guy. Doesn't like me much. I, really? I like him a lot. Good yeah. guy. Good what? charisma. He's got something special on the screen. Uh, I would love to see him there. Yeah. Why doesn't he like you? Because maybe I'm good. Yeah, very good. Not only is Jean-Claude Van Damme good, he's also quite modest. Now, here goes an entirely different interview when Seagull was asked about Michael J. White. The two of them worked together on the movie Exit Wounds in the early 2000s. And the interviewer also asked Steven Seagull about Jean-Claude Van Damme as well as Chuck Norris. And it's a pretty entertaining response as well. Who's the most legitimate Hollywood tough guy in your opinion? You accept it, of course. When you say tough guy, do you mean martial artist or just tough I mean, guy? I mean, Stephen, for real. If he was on the street and there was a situation, you wanted this Hollywood guy by your side because he could defend himself. It's that hard to think of a legit one? Can you think of one? Michael Jai White. Can I laugh in your face? Really? Yes. Thoughts on Jean-Claude Van Damme? Can I laugh in your face? Chuck Norris? I mean, Chuck is in his mid-70s. He's probably 76 years old, okay? It's a bit ages, Stephen. A bit ages. Interesting. So I don't know. I don't, I, I've heard that he's not, you know. So, I mean, I don't really want to get into, on film anyway, mm -hmm. uh, you know, who's a tough guy. Uh, do I think Michael is a tough guy? No. Do I think he's a martial artist? No. Do I think Jean-Claude's a tough guy or a martial artist? No. So here's an interesting follow-up with the same interviewer when he asked about Seagal to Michael J. White. 
One man that uh, you worked with as well, and I'm not expecting such high words about him, is uh, <laughs> <laughs> Steven Zagal. You start alongside him in Exit Wounds. Right, right. Now, we hear various reports on what it's like to work with Steven. Yeah. Yeah. How did you find the experience? I had worked with Steven years earlier. He'd done Nissan Soup commercials mm -hmm. for Japan. I was a big fan of the mm -hmm. first movies that he had done. I thought that was something that he really blew it wide open. Steven's, you know, he's, he's an entertainer. And I look at some of the stuff uh, and I, I can understand he's, he's selling a product. I can't call him a deep martial artist. There are too many martial artists that I, I really honor and respect and, you know, who live that life of, uh, of Budo. That, that, you know, I couldn't put him in that same category. I remember being on set and on deadly ground trying to get Steven Seagal to throw a front kick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take anything against Steven Seagal. He is what he is. He is a movie star. He is a, you know, bigger than life type of celebrity. But he knows what he's doing. He's, you know, he, he, knows, he knows what he's doing as far as... Um... And this last one from Piers Morgan. This has to be my favorite. This is a reaction Seagal gave when... He was asked if he can still fight, if he could basically still hold it down. Pretty, pretty good stuff. You still fight? Yes, I do. You still dangerous? <laughs> I still know a thing or two. <laughs> I've always imagined if you're Steven Seagal, every single bar you ever go into in the world, there'll be some jackass in the corner who wants to come and try it on with you. Does that actually happen? Uh, once or twice. <laughs> and, and what happens to them? Uh, bad things. <laughs> <laughs> so why does Steven Seagal believe what he does? Why doesn't he believe Jean-Claude Van Damme and Michael J. White are great martial artists? Seagal had a rare inside look at the Japanese martial arts establishment. Much different background than when most people train. I mean, myself, you know, you have a dojo in a shopping center. It's fine. I mean, you could train there. There are, there are good masters there. But uh, it's a little bit different than moving to Japan where it originated. Well, a lot of the martial arts originated anyways. For example, karate. Aikido, etc. And training with the masters in their world, eight hours a day, learning the language, learning the culture, it's a little bit different than uh, what a lot of us in the States or elsewhere were exposed to. So he's got his opinion and there could be some legitimacy towards that, but you got to keep in mind what he defines as a martial artist. He's not saying they're not great fighters. Trust me, John claude Van Damme and Michael J. White, they can kick ass. They can easily kick much ass. Steven Skull says martial arts have to be an endeavor in which you're trying to develop the physical man while perfecting the spiritual self at the same time. He goes on to say, if what you're doing is devoid of spiritual essence, it's nothing but street fighting. As a counterpoint, here's what Michael J. White thinks about Stephen Skull as a martial artist, by the way. There's too many martial arts, real martial artists that I know that I couldn't put people in that same category. He is a movie star. You know, martial arts principles say that you, I mean, you keep yourself together. You don't, you don't gain... 70 pounds that's just you can't be called a serious martial artist if yeah. you do that especially when there's people like chuck norris yeah. walking around i can't put him in the same category <laughs> no chuck no. norris is a real martial artist mm -hmm. that person he, he's an ex, you know, exemplary uh martial artist and he and fumio demura and, and people of that ill so there you guys have it the man is clearly as entertaining off film as he's on film what do you guys think about steven skull let me know in the comments section Oh, and make sure to subscribe to the video, by the way, if you want to see more content on Steven Seagal, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Michael J. White, basically anything martial arts related, or even fitness and bodybuilding. We're going to delve into that in this channel, too. So please subscribe, and hope to see you guys next time.